Hello and welcome back to Kitty Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be the host for this episode. Last time we started exploring the um, ruins of, let me check the name, Arngthand. Honestly, I'm not going to pr try to pronounce the Dwarven Ruins names anymore. Um, so this is the Dwarven Ruin right next to Balmora, and we're exploring it to hopefully find a Dwemer Tube here. Um, which we were sent for actually to another ruin, but also to make uh, money and train our magic. So this door here will actually change our cell to somewhere we've already been. So I'm going to check out this area here. This also changes our location. Okay, so now the question is where do we go to first? Let's just try and head this place after. Oh, look at that. A steam machine. So, and an enemy. Oh, dear. Yes. No, this, this actually looks pretty neat in, in the icon screen. So, what I wanted to what I wanted to tell is that I always love the Dwemer Ruins because you have this strong sense of exploration. Um, nobody knows what happens, what happened to the dwarves and um, it's great mystery and it feels like when you go here you can find out how they live or you, you, will, you will find remnants of of their, of their world, basically. So if I take this cog, I will be over encumbered. And this means I will have to go back to Gomorrah. And since I s forgot to actually... One, please. Forgot to actually stop the timer. Start the timer, that is. So I'm going to go back to Balmora. Let me do this in here, and when I'm and, and going to um, make either a time, I think I'm going to make a time lapse out of this. So we are going to see each other after the time lapse. So I ended up throwing away more footage than I wanted. So I'm just going to give you a quick overview over what we've done. We have, of course, killed some more of the thugs within the ruin. We also had a level up and decided to level up all our willpower, speed and personality, because we got the bonus in that. We found a Dwemer tube that we needed for our quest. And we also learned the Trinity of Teleporting, which is the Mark spell, the Recall spell, Elm, and Elm CV intervention. And we leveled, leveled up, we trained up our mysticism skill to use these spells effectively. So as you might see, we now have Elm CV intervention, which teleports us to the nearest temple with a chance of 97%. We have Mark with a chance of, uh, it doesn't highlight that, with a chance of 84%, and we have Recall also with a chance of 84%, which is pretty good for teleporting back and forth, so we don't have to walk to the ruins. And now the first thing I want to do basically is test those out. So first of all, let me go into the Mages Guild and see if we can grab some more Magicka potions because the last thing that I want is to run out of Magicka when I can't Do rest. Do you have something to say, Outlander? Let's see if there are some in the chest. No, only 45 willpower. I think I will always check this chest and always figure out, uh, find out that there are none of the potions in that chest. Well, what have we here? But we do know that our good what friend Ajira. Hi, Ajira. To you, friend. You're looking very good. How about some of your potions, good friend? So we want potions of Restore Magicka. 
Not fortify magicka, but restore magicka. Restore agility, endurance, fatigue, intelligence, personality, speed, strength, willpower, and rising powers. Azira, don't you have any restore magicka potions? That means I need to actually go to the... Come on, you need to you need to fetch some restore magicka potions. I don't want to go to the human shop. Well, it seems I need to go to the apothecary, or however you pronounce that word in English. The alchemy shop in Belmora, which is not part of the Mage's I Guild, and thus, I guess, way more expensive, especially since Ajira likes us a lot. So, that would be up here. Let me first check if we have... I don't think that we have the money to buy the potions, but let's check about the prices. Anytime you're ready, just don't keep me waiting. An alchemist. And this time I don't run upstairs first. Hello, good elf. Um, do you have some restore magicka potions for a low price pay, maybe? Recall marking, dispel, cure, poison, reflection, blight, disease. Something is wrong with my mouse. These are fortify health, light. No, these are exclusive and thus very expensive. She's My really a fine is... alchemist, just so she's yeah too too good. Let's see if the temple actually sells those. Of course, we can also rest within the ruins at least, so we can try. Anyhow, but um, yeah, I kind of want to stock up on potions, but I don't know whom. Ask Barter. You are the enchanter. Do you have something rest or health? Light? I think all these enchantments in this game are non permanent. So basically, these are just spell the storages. Ingredients in town. If you have ingredients, you surely also have potions. <coughs> I'm sorry. Fortify magic, uh, potion, restore, restore endurance, fatigue, health, intelligence, luck, magicka. Only a single one. Well, can't be helped. Let us get at least one. Thank you very much, good sir. We'll be heading out. So, what I'm planning to do is. First of all, t as I said, test out these, the trinity of teleportation, but also gain a little bit of money and train a little bit more so we what can increase our, um, not restoration, what's it, alteration skill, so, and create a stronger uh, feather spell, which in turn, yeah, um, allows us to carry even more. So basically, I am now leveling up our ability to raid dungeons. And I'm going also to create our spark level 3. The next level in spark spells. But for all of this, we have to at least once walk over to the ruins because we didn't use the spells yet. And I just forgot that I can just hit the Q key instead of holding down the W key. The game will do all the walking for me. I just need to turn the mouse. And there are the real glorious dwarven ruins in the background, which we are heading to. As I promised last episode, I'm not going to try to pronounce the Dwarven names anymore. If someone of you can actually do that, then you can well, just send me recordings of especially ruins that I haven't been to yet, so I can then edit them in, or just like add them at the end of the episodes. Just remember when you're watching this, um, the recording day will be moments ahead, so I for a fact know that this episode will air 
somewhere in September, beginning of September, and right now it is end of July. So, just so you know, I'm recording way in advance. And since Morrowind will spawn so many episode, as so, episodes as soon as I have enough to fill the year, I'm going to start another game. In German, I will play The Room, part 1, 2, and 3 in German. Because I also really love these games. And I might even do so with people over on Twitch helping me, like giving clues and trying out what the people say. So first of all, let's head back to where we stopped, where we had to stop and leave the last cog laying around. It seems like this would be here, but actually it wasn't here, it was somewhere inside there. We went downstairs here. And had killed all of these people in here. Well. Maybe not all of them, we didn't loot everything in here yet. Well, let me real quick recharge all of our three meters, which is health, magicka, and fatigue. Drop a quick save and head into the size of the hollow hand. This is where we find found the Dwemer tube. As you can see, it was laying here. And we actually didn't raid everything yet, so there is another of these cogs. And a travel lantern. And it doesn't show me that the crates are already raided empty. Yep. I am a tomb raider, although this is not a tomb, this is a dwarven ruin. Let's see if this leads us somewhere else. Weeping Bell Hall. I think we've also been here already. I think this is when we cross, uh, we go around the corner, there should be the corpse of a woman laying around. There she is. So I guess we should go, we should go the left hand side all the time. Heaven's Gallery. Yep, this is where someone was still. This is the lower end of, or the lower room of where we, where we were already. Well, there he is. Honestly, the, the painful growls of my cricker sometimes sound more like purring, actually. Heavy Dwemer desk and another candle. There is a crate in here, which also is empty. I know I didn't raid these before. And we are over encumbered, so let us try out now. The This is 230, which means I need to just drop this one. So first of all, I'm going to, yeah, this is just, just as I imagined. When we're over encumbered, we can't rest anymore. Well, let's do it here. So, we have a full Magicka. We are going to use Mark to create a teleport target point here. Or the only one, basically, that, that Mark and Recall have. So as soon as I cast Mark again on a different position, Recall will bring me to that position. Now I'm going to cast Elm Sieve Intervention. Teleport to the nearest temple, which is in Balmora. And is very laggy, as Balmora always is. Head over to our good friend Ravir the trader. And sell all that stuff. And then I can use Recall to just head back into the ruins without having the hassle of walking all the way. This is not cheating, Thunderstorm. This is perfectly all right. It's not even abusing the game mechanics. I'm not the Spiffing Brit, so I'm not doing this. If you don't know the Spiffing Brit, check out their YouTube. I hope I remember to put the link into the video description. Barter, so you have all of your gold. 
So I basically don't need these amulets anymore. I have the spell now. And I'm not going to use common clothing. Honestly, I am a... Um, Reading things while talking is not a good idea. Um, I'm going to be a powerful mage, so no, I'm not going to do this. Cure common disease itself. Actually, I'm going to buy this whenever I need, and the shield I don't think I'm going to use, so let's sell all of this. And in order to make future prices a bit cheaper, uh, a bit higher, Let's give him a bit of a discount, so he likes us a little bit more. Okay, one point of disposition gained. And now I, I actually didn't need to leave that room. It was just... And now I'm going to use the recall on self, and there we are, back here. We didn't even need to load, which is kind of awesome. I didn't know that. So this means that the cell where the marker is set is still being loaded. That's actually pretty awesome mechanic. Okay, so we came in here. We're going to go along the left hand side. I'm going to real quick heal again. And of course I could have just created the stronger spell. Let's see if we can go here. I am not going to go there without saving. I don't want to fall into the lava and die horribly without having a save game to back me up. Okay, let's see. This does not seem to be the way. I'm pretty sure that we won't be able to jump this. Nope. Look at this. We're not instantly de uh, dead. Yes, I want to load the quick save that I just made. Well, okay, we're not going to go here. So this means we need to come back at a later date or just leave that part out. Continuing on the left-hand side, we go down here and see another friend who wants to be a target practice dummy. So... Again, if they were attacking us and making damage, or if they weren't thugs, basically, it this would count as murder because they didn't do damage beforehand. But that's just the moment game mechanics. And quick look to the left and right to see if there are more enemies. And then we see there is stuff to loot. Ooh, a lock level. Uh, do I have an unlocking spell? No, I don't. I need to learn one. But it's lock level 5. Let us just try. Uh, it was F. Lock pick success. Well, with that low lock level. And there is this is a whole lot of money. This is 26 dwarven coins. Each one of them is worth 50 gold. Sadly, Azura won't take them. And she is the one with a 100 disposition towards us. So we will fetch best prices with her. Anywho, let us take all of the other things out of these, oh, even more. Honestly, I wish I had a house, and I know I installed a housing mod actually, but the house is not here, it's a bit further away. This was a, just a tiny bit too much. Let's put the goblet away. We are still over encumbered. Let's put the bowl away because we need to walk to the uh, from the temple to the traders still. So we're going to use mark to mark our position. Um, CV intervention. We go to the temple. We failed. But this is not a problem. And now we're going to sell everything again. Now, isn't that a thing? Not as boring as walking back and forth all the time. 
To be honest, I didn't do it like that all, like all the time. This is the first time I'm actually using this trinity of um, teleportation because I never played a mage before and that also means that my character never used magic before. And now I want to primarily rely on magic, so barter. 210 gold is what you have, and as you can see we sold two cogs each worth 100 gold and we only get 91 pieces of gold and that's because we have the bad disposition we can also have a better mercantile skill which would enable us to do this i'm going to first sell all of these two and then yeah, that was too much let us just remove gradually remove stuff until we are I think 210 we can actually remove those two give him a little bit of a discount thank you very much and now we just sleep the day away that's what kitties do anyways so sleep the day away and while we're at it let's try and create this is not the spell your actions person. precede you outland I've heard good things about you. Thank you, thank you. I'm growing right, a little bit I'm red intrigued. because I'm Go ahead. not the person who handles um, compliments well. So I want to make a new spell. Shock damage. We have 20 to 20 and we want a little more. So let's do double. 40 to 40. These are 4 1 in uh, on target in 5 feet. So the spell chance is still pretty high. I'm going to actually aim for a lower chance 50. Let's go up to 60 even. because we're going to learn more destruction. This is spark three then. Bye. Very well. Can you train us destruction? No, they can't or they can, but we don't have enough money. Not much of a problem, but we're going to switch out this spell with our spark three so this means we go from 20 to 50 points to 60 points shock damage which means we make lots of more damage now this is unexpected but not unwelcome please go ahead and let's head back in another time we first wanted to, to go and sleep An adventurer, I presume. Sleeping is very important for kitties, especially little ones like me. There we go. I actually made the mistake of only like the default thing, sleeping until I'm healed. I need to sleep for a whole day. So Ravier is Greetings the traitor you, is Kajit. the reset. Let's go and head to them then. Do you have? Also, I'm only using these community chests when I actually need them, because these free items that you can actually sell for an expensive price do feel like a bit of cheating to me. Okay, so he has his 600 gold again. We are selling the iron dagger and the shoes and the scrap metal. And how about the? 20 gold. All of these nice things are going to be sold and you know what? Because we are so friendly and you're also from elsewhere and we like people from elsewhere I'm going to give you a discount. Maybe we can meet up later. I live over at Chaos Casadas' house, you know? See? 
they like us even more now. Greetings. Let me check the inventory. Okay, we still have the ash salts. I think our good friend Azura should should be willing to buy them. I, I think she should be happy to have them Do you wanting have to become to an, a great alchemist. I think she will re be really delighted to see this. And How may I help you, good oh, evening? greeted friend. Welcome. Ajira, friend. Mwah. Mwah. I have something for you. Look, I found these ash salts. You do want to become a great alchemist, do you? You know, I'm going to give them to you, and because we're so good friends, I'm going to give them to you for only 10 gold instead of the 14 that they're, that you are willing to give for me. Give for them. Ah, Azura, I hope that you will really become a great alchemist. I must be heading off. I'm going to give the Dwemer Tube to... over to our good friend in... Uh, I think it was Aldru. So, after having traveled to Aldrun, we're going to return the Dwemer tube real quick and maybe get another quest. Welcome Edwina friend, was the, the name. Yours. Yes, there what is the Dwemer about? tube. And there you go. Yes, this is what I wanted. Now I can finally study these Bthurks the dwarves wrote about. And I did again trying to pronounce these words. Bthurks. Well, this word is... This is pronounceable, I think. I am impressed by your dedication to scholarship. Good work, Nighty. Well, how about some more duties for me? Yes, I was wondering if you might check about one of my colleagues in the du Dwemer ruin of... Okay, here I go again. Nchulef... Nchuleftingf. Nchuleftingf. Well, that, that also works. Nchuleftingf. Well, the last excavation report is long overdue. What about these excavation reports? I mean, it being long overdue makes me a bit uh, worried. One of my colleagues, Sinilias Cadiusus, they are they they really went overboard with the names. Sinilias Cadiusus is engaged in official imperial research in Chulefting. He was supposed to give me an excavation report every month, but has not sent one this month. Go to Chulefting and find out what's going on. Well, I'm certainly going to go to this Nchulefting place, but can you tell me where it is? You can get there by going around the mountains near Surin and heading northeast along the Foyada Nadanat. Or you can start in Molagmar and head northwest towards Mount Kand, or go north around Mount Kand and along the north side of the Foyada. Well, thank you. I'm going to do this, but first I'm going to... You know, make a little bit more money in the Dwarven Ruins near Belmora with the unpronounceable name. Athletic skill increase. That's something that I always like to see. Arendel, can you help me? I need, want to go back to Belmora. Thank you very much. How does the day greet you, friend? Oh, you can, you can hear it. The day greets me with lots of thunder and rain. <clears throat> You count yourself lucky that you don't have fur all all over your body. It's really icky when it gets wet. But it gets floofy when it gets dry. Okay, now let's see. Um, no. Yep, I need to get used to using recall. Failed. That doesn't matter much because we can rest here. There we go. Now we can even not rest here because there are enemies nearby, but I don't need to care that much. Because we can just go someplace where there are no enemies nearby. Let's see, we are still not over encumbered. I can still take a little bit more stuff. We can take it all. Okay, now we can only take one more. So this means we should head back. They can't rest here. Let me head a little bit, a little bit back. There we go. Until healed. And now we head back and sell one last time. Actually, I'm thinking about whether I should... Um, whether I should finish exploring these dwarven ruins or whether I should head to the others. 
I'm actually for exploring these, finishing exploring these, because I hate having too many things like half done. So I'm going to sell the stuff. Say your business. To our great friend Ravir the Trader. And again, I'm being stuck in the architecture. So he doesn't have any gold anymore, so we need Green. to sleep for another 24 hours. Best done in... I think we can actually on also just wait. Instead of sleeping. Wait. This also does the trick. It just does not restore our magicka because we didn't rest. We only waited. And there we go. Yes, it is simply timed. We don't need to sleep. Okay. The coins and everything. As you can see, and again, I'm going to give you a little discount so you like me more. When What's he likes that? us to one one hundred percent, we are going to start um, surcharging him instead, like always alternating between ninety and one hundred percent. Okay, so. I think that's it for this episode on YouTube. We did, well, it doesn't feel like a lot of things, but basically we proved that the Trinity of Teleporting works, that it doesn't um, make it too boring, that we can actually explore the ruins and um, see what's in there without much interruption when our inventory is full. And I think in the next episode, I am going to start and level up our feather spell so we can carry even more. And so, yeah, that's it for today, for this episode, I mean. And as always, the dice will tell you how many days until the next episode starts. Bye bye.